and he was service leader for Brother A. E. Allen. Yeah. And he said that there were several thousand people there that night. And said Brother Allen came out to preach. But said all that week <coughs> he was preaching faith and how to be healed and preparing people, you know. Yeah. Prepare the ground. Amen. Yes, amen. And he said this little lady came up to him on the oh about the fifth day of the week and had a baby in her arms and said, Brother Shambach said, so I've been here every day and every night and I've heard you preach. And said, Brother Allen said, I've been waiting for my child to be prayed for. Yeah. But said, it seemed like every night the Spirit took a different course and said, but today's my last day that I can be here. And said, is there any way possible that you can get my child prayed for? He said he looked at this baby and said he was amazed how that a woman could have that kind of faith. He said the child had, I believe it was 26 major diseases. Mama. Said it was blind. Its tongue hanging out of its mouth about three or four or five inches. Its arms was built up, being up like this. Its legs was doubled up in its stomach. And said the doctors said it was what you call a frog baby. 26 major things wrong with this child. My God. And here was a woman that was believing God for a miracle. He said he went behind the platform and got down on his knees and cried and said, God, I've preached faith all this week. But said, give me that kind of faith. Give me that kind of faith. And he told her, he said, uh, if something happens, if your child's not prayed for in a prayer line, if, you know, God moves a different way. He said, I'll take your child to his trailer and I'll have him to pray for your child personally. Because he knew that that woman had, I mean, she had a faith yeah. to believe God for a miracle like that. Yeah. And he said he was sitting on the platform as Brother Allen came out. I know a lot of folks that he died and run by. And I don't know the man. Not nothing about it. So, you know, one man said if he died drunk, he done more drunk. Most people done sober. So, yeah. I mean, that's Bless God. What? Another man told me, says, well, if we can do what? He done, let's all go get drunk. <laughs> but anyhow, said he came out that night and said, the service was turned over to him. And he said, we're going to do something different tonight. He said, God spoke to me. This is what he told me. For everybody to give a faith offering. And said so a faith offering is when you give something that you're not able to give, but believe in God. To not only return that, but to restore it more times over than what you gave. Amen. Amen. Now that's Bible because the Bible said, let every man purpose in his own heart what he wants to give. He gives bountifully, he'll reap bountifully. Yeah. He gives sparingly, he'll reap sparingly. You know what that means? You give little, you get back little. You give a lot, you get back a lot. Now you might not believe that. That's what the Bible said. Yes, I mean, a farmer, if he wants a field full of corn, he ain't going to plant one seed. He's going to fill that whole field plum full of it. Yeah. Amen. Amen. And he said, God is going to work the supernatural. And he said, Brother Shambok said, I watched this woman. He said, here she come running. And he told her, he said, Brother Shambok, said, I've been here all week. I've, I've, I'm down to my last $20. $20 is what it was. Kind of matches tonight. Last $20. And he said, I've got to have so much to get back to Tennessee with gas. And I think she had to have $10 for some medication for a child. And was going to get $5 off. And she said, I done gave out. And said, that's all. And said, this is my last day. Got to go home. But he said, he seen this woman come running to the altar. And said, I was nosy. You know how Shambach preaches. He said, I was nosy. And said, I went over and looked. And said, here she comes. And she dropped a piece of money in. So I looked in. And said, there later, last $20. Went back to her seat. He said, Brother Allen started preaching. He said, he preached about 10 minutes and he stopped. Just stopped in the message. And he said, I'm being carried away in the spirit. Shambach said, well, I've heard that before, you know. He said, I just said. He said, I see a building. He said, oh, I said, it's a hospital. 
He said, I'm going down this hallway in this hospital. He said, I'm in a certain place. Oh, said, it's where the babies are. And he said, by that time, I was beginning to listen. <laughs> and he said, I see these four doctors standing around this baby that's deformed. And they're shaking their head like there's no hope. And I hear these doctors saying, this child will never live to be a year old. But said, they're wrong. said, it's four years old already. <laughs> Hallelujah. And he began to call off every disease and thing that was wrong with that child. And he said, I see a woman up in Tennessee with great faith believing God for a miracle. And since she's getting in the car and she's driving, she's coming so far, you know, across the Georgia line. And since she's coming to this parking lot, and said, matter of fact, said the woman's here tonight. And he said, Lady, he said, bring me the child. He said, God's going to give you 26 miracles. Ooh. Hallelujah. <laughs> Oh, you say, I don't believe it. I do believe it. I've seen God do things. I, I, I can't doubt it. I mean, it's stuck to my heart. And he said he brought that baby up and Brother Allen took this child in his arms. And he said, I want everybody to bow their head and pray. But Jeff Buck said, I didn't bow my head. He said, I was going to watch and pray. <laughs> he said, I was going to see. And he said he seen that baby's tongue pop in his mouth like a rubber band. And he said he seen something look like little whirlwinds getting in those milky eyes and begin to go around and around. And he said he seen two big beautiful brown eyes coming at child. Hallelujah. And he said he heard something begin to pop and snap like boards are cracking. And he said he seen them arms begin to straighten out. Go man. And he heard something crack and break and pop and he seen them little legs begin to pop and snap and straighten out. Oh, hallelujah. He said look at the little club feet turned in. He said he wants to begin to straighten out. Oh, listen to me. I believe it. I believe God is a miracle. How many believe that he is a miracle? Hallelujah. He said before the eyes of thousands of people, he said God performed a supernatural miracle. And he said he looked over to the bed section. He said it was over 20 beds. It was empty. Everyone that was in the beds was running. He said he looked over to the wheelchair section. He said it was 18 empty wheelchairs. He said they, nobody prayed for them. He said they jumped and run. And he said he looked around. He said he began to count the canes with red paint on them, The blind that fell under canes and began to cry. I can see. I can see. Hallelujah. And it, oh my God. And without even praying for anybody, the power of the supernatural God just fell because people could believe and give that much. And God